Hey guys, it's Jared back with another day trading recap from today's trading. I took four trades today, two were losers right off the bat, dug myself a big hole. The next one was a really nice winner, which paid for those losses, got me back in the green. And my fourth trade was a perfectly break even trade, like exactly zero dollars, which almost never happens. So my watch list today was uh, right here. It was NEO, PLTR, SPACE, and XFIT. S fix although my break-even trade was down here on XPEV and so it's not something I was originally watching um, but I went ahead and checked in on it decided to take a trade it was a break-even so my most of the action is on PLTR right here and what you'll see is it kind of formed my favorite pattern my favorite pattern to trade is what I call a bearish boot so it kind of looks like a boot you see the shoe but you could also call this an ABC, a reverse ABCD pattern. You could say A, B, this is C, and then D's I lower, right? So you could also call this an ABCD pattern, but for me it's more, I call it a bearish boot because the, the specific characteristics are that it's a little more wavy than your average um, ABCD pattern. So um, it presses up at 31, right? And then it busts through all these moving averages, all of these levels of potential support it busts right through them on really good volume so lots of really strong volume there it gets near previous day close yesterday high bounces up and as it was doing this i said oh if i can get in at 30 50 i'm set i'm going to take this short now when it got to 30 50 i actually didn't have the courage anymore to take it short right away even though it would have been the perfect entry and the reason is because this pattern is a perfect bearish boot for me however this volume this this volume is not ideal so i would like to see them all all of this positive um volume be the same height as this this is more the volume i'm looking like but we got a bigger one here we got you know volume interest here so the volume the vpa the volume price analysis of this wasn't perfect for the bearish boot pattern but the setup and the 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 flow the look of it was so when it got up here i wasn't quite ready i waited for some confirmation and i got it because right at 30 50 turns on a dime it starts heading south i take it short right when it gets below vwap now from here this looks like a nice obvious smooth trend but the price action on pltr this morning was not this smooth early in the day it was jumping four or five cents at a time six seven cents at a time it wasn't moving one cent at a time nice and smooth which is obviously what i prefer so i took it short here and the price action got a little squirrely kind of spooked me and vwap did not hold so it bounced back up through vwap and i stopped out and while on this it looks like this is a small loss this is actually a very large loss um, because the exact entries and exits are at the point of the triangle so it's actually a very large loss for me um, so i took a big loss it came back down though it got squirrely pushed above vwap then came back down below vwap closed here, opened here, came up, started coming back down off the 200, I took it short again. I liked what I saw, you know. Again, the volume price analysis wasn't perfect, but the shape of everything still looked good to me. So I took it short again, another stop out. So at this point, I'm almost at max loss for the day, but it's still kind of hovering around. I'm still seeing enough of what I like. I decided to take a third poke at it right here, and I'm glad I did. But right when I got into this position, and uh, stop out is the loss of VWAP. Right when I got into this position, I was, it, it's hovered around my entry for a while, which got me pretty nervous, but it did go in my favor, but it hovered, 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 and then when it started moving, it moved really quick. So it was like someone pulled the chair out from under him. And boom, 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 took profit really quick there. With that being my first one, then I my next area of profit taking was going to be previous day close and yesterday's high. So you see a bunch of partials right there. At this point, we bust through that. We get through the 200 MA, and this is a terrible ad, but I, I only had a tiny share size left at this point, and I thought, well, we might uh, come back up to the $29 level and go lower, so I'll go ahead and add right here. This is a stupid ad because if you're going to add, this is a chase for one. But if I think it's going to come back to here anyway, I should just wait for 29, do my ad there, and hope for the best. But either way, I would have been stopped out. So I did my ad and then my last partial out of break even. But this is a really great trade. This trade by itself was like 140% my daily profit target. 
So really, really nice trade. And this ultimately, what you're seeing here, this is the key to consistent profitable day trading. I had one profitable trade that paid for two losses and then some. So basically my green, my, my green trade, my winning trade was two and a half times my losing trades. And that's, that's really the key to long-term consistent success day trading. So this was PLTR. Now the break-even trade's not that interesting, but let's uh, touch on it real quick. Um, so it happened right here. And this is a good example of something. So, all right, so right here you see pushes up, looks good, leaks off, really good sustained volume, gets down here at the 200 MA, which is also the $50 mark. And it's been hovering around, it can't seem to bounce off of it enough. So I go ahead and take it short right here. And this is me attempting to fight to go from 32% green on the day to try and get the full profit target here. I was able to get one prof, uh, one partial for about 14 cents, but it bounced back on me so quick that my second partial was a losing partial as I tried to get, get out of break even and, um, and ultimately made this trade <laughs> a perfectly break even trade. So I try not to let it, a winner turn against me, but this happened so quick, it ended up being a break even trade. Now, what you'll see is that I was right on direction. I knew uh, we're gonna we're gonna come down and we're gonna we're gonna fall down. I knew this was where we're going. But day trading is not all about knowing the direction of the stock. It is that is only half the battle. Day trading is not only do you need to know where the stock is going, you need to get what's really important. The other half of the battle is getting an entry that allows you to sustain through the back and forth, the pull and tug of the buyers and sellers until that move actually goes in your favor. So you need to be able to get an entry in a narrow range of possible entries that allows you to stay in the position until it does what you want it to do. So in this case, this entry, while, while it, um, I was right that it was going to be a short, it wasn't close enough it wasn't in that range of entries that would allow me to sustain as this tug of war continued until there was a clear victory, right? So although this looks like a narrow range, this is actually almost 50 cents. That's way too big a range. So my, in my trading style, usually I stop out about 12 cents or so, give or take. So 50 cents, this is huge. So what you have to do, it's not all about knowing what direction the stock's going to go. That's only half of it. The other half is getting an entry within a narrow range of possible entries that will give you the staying power to hang out in this trade until it goes in your favor. Because ideally, they all go in your favor immediately, but that doesn't always happen. Sometimes it takes a while, it takes a little back and forth, and you need to get at one of those entries that'll keep you in that range where you can stay in there until it goes in your favor and this setup you know up here would have been one of those entries where i got in not one of those entries perfect entry if you did not get shaken out was right when it dropped below this 100 ma then you could have caught this whole move it would have been great so that would be the perfect entry but in real time it's not always easy to see that but uh, i'll take my 32 percent. i'll take my green day i wish you guys the best and uh, hopefully we can keep it green tomorrow too